deep in the forest, way up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We had a client who called me and said, I've got a madrone tree that has fallen into a redwood tree. And my house is down the hill. It is indeed down the hill. It is indeed pushing very, very solidly on that redwood tree. On the positive side, there's a really prominent Y up there that's got that redwood captured. The question is, will it continue to push on this redwood, possibly the whole grove, and cause the redwood trees to go down as well? The house is considerable ways away. There is a possibility of it hitting the back side of the house, but I think what we need to do is survey this a little bit closer. I think this is a good opportunity to get the drone out and look at it a little bit closer. So the question is, if and when this falls, and it will fall, will it cause any damage to the property? Let's look at this trunk a little bit closer. This stump looks like it's coming out of the ground. Well, I'm going to say that the base of this tree just completely rotted out. This tree looks like it's been dead for a long time. It's a really tall madrone. I'd say it probably at about 80 feet. And all this decay at the base just finally gave way. And he has fallen into those trees over there. It's pretty heavy, pretty solid. I imagine what's going to happen is this base is going to continue to rot out and the butt end is going to slide down, which will stand this a little bit more upright. Ultimately, it's going to fall down or it's going to decompose and it's going to go down on its own. To get it down safely, I mean, he's putting a man up there. We have to climb one of these really tall redwoods over here and rope in on the top so we can get down and swing over and we can make a few cuts. But at some point in time, that's got to give way. And I don't know if it's worth the, the effort. So what I think I need to do is do some calculations on how far these trees are going to fall and what is the likely direction that they're going to fall. Okay, drone time. As I've said before, I bought this drone a few months ago and I've always been interested in how to utilize this drone to better assess situations in trees. Um, Clearly, it's a tool that you have to be very careful of, and in this particular situation, I didn't have a whole lot of room to work with. There was a clearing down low, and I got it up to the area of the trees, but I couldn't freely fly around because there was so much foliage and so many limbs from other trees that were in the way, so I had, I had to be really careful. I went up to the top of where this madrone tree was leaning on the redwood and what I really wanted to do was fly around the back side and look at where the the tree was resting on it. I was able to zoom in a little bit closer, actually fly in a little bit closer. I got within about 10 feet of the branches. That was a little sketchy for me because I don't want to wreck my drone. But I did do something that was uh, was very very interesting. Because the drone has a built-in altimeter that's very accurate, it's GPS enabled, what I did was I started at the base of the tree. Actually, I was a little bit below because the tree was up on a hill. So I took off and I flew and then I stopped level with the base of the tree, the redwood trees, because those are the ones I was concerned with. And I got the altitude of the base of the trees, which from where, I, altitude is not the, the right word, the um, the height starting point which would be 13 feet so from takeoff to the base of the tree was 13 feet then I flew up to the very top of the redwood and the madrone together and I went up 
to um, 120 feet. So what, what I did was um, I subtracted the 13 feet from the 120 feet and that gave me a really accurate measurement of the total height of the mass that would come falling down, the two redwoods and the madrone. So I told him to get a tape measure, put it at the base of the tree, run it back towards his house, and he'll know where it would fall. So in that case, it was a really accurate way to determine the height of the tree. Well, that kind of wraps up that job, and I thought I would show you a little bit of drone footage from up at my house. I have a, a dream here. This fir tree, which is enormous, off in the distance, has an absolutely incredible view of the entire Santa Clara Valley. And I've always dreamed of getting an observation platform somewhere is up in the foliage here, trim it out so that I can see all the way around and uh, maybe get a zip line out to the tree. In any case, uh, some sort of a hanging ladders for easy access. But uh, this is a beautiful usage of the drone as well. And, and I'm having so much fun with it, but I'm finding that it's also a valuable tool. That last assessment of the height of the tree just shows one of the aspects of the value. So if you're thinking about getting a drone, I highly recommend it. The DJI Mavic Pro is what I have.